BCCD and OVS want to better inform and educate the field with the OVS Consolidated Standards. Pennsylvania has long been considered a leader when it comes to these operational standards that are designed to maintain quality services and programming delivered by skilled advocates and staff. The standards are meant to be a guide to VSPs for best practices and excellent service delivery, provide minimum expectation for VSPs, and ensure uniformity of service delivery across the Commonwealth. The standards provide the minimum expectations of victim service delivery and ensure professionalism of the victim's services field. PCCD and OVS has launched a series of recordings that will walk program staff through our standards. The OVS newsletter will announce new recordings as they are available. In this recording, we will highlight Section C of the Program Administration Standard, which is governance of the VSP, which was adopted by the Victims Service Advisory Committee, or VSAC, in November 2007 and updated in November 2021. Please note that there are six sections to the Program Administration Standard, which are outlined in the next slide. Recordings have been prepared for each section. Staff may listen to any or all recordings in relation to program administration. Programs who have PCCD as oversight entity will need to have policies in place to address Section C for governance. Following this training, the program staff contact assigned to your grant can help answer individual questions about this standard in relation to your project. Victim Services Program Administration shall interpret and implement policies into tasks and practices that staff are expected to fulfill. There are six aspects of program administration. Accessibility, fiscal management, governance of nonprofit organizations, personnel management, programming, planning, and evaluation, and record keeping. For the purpose of this training, we have broken down the program administration standard into six parts. VSPs may listen to each of the six recordings in this series or individually as needed. Program Administration Standard Section C, Governance of Nonprofit Organizations, includes information on numerous pieces that together allow for effective governance of any agency supported by PCCD's oversight. The Commonwealth of Pennsylvania requires that all nonprofit organizations have a board of directors. OVS standards require that all VSPs be governed by a board of directors that is consistent with Pennsylvania law. If a subgrantee is funded by the Pennsylvania Coalition Against Domestic Violence, or PCADV, the Pennsylvania Coalition to Advance Respect, PCAR, formerly known as PA Coalition Against Rape, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, MAD, and or the National Children's Alliance, NCA, Guiding Child Advocacy Centers, they shall follow the agency's standards and requirements. Required aspects of bylaws must include Conflict of interest related to relationships or actions that might conflict with the best interests of the agency and such relationships and actions might result in the use of assets, business, or activities of the agency. Liability and insurance requirements. Regularly scheduled meetings, this could be quarterly or monthly meetings. Calling and conducting special meetings. This would be in addition to quarterly or monthly meetings. Taking and transcribing of minutes. Minutes should be reflective of all items discussed, proposed, voted on, quorums, etc. This includes attendance, actions taken, committee reports, etc. Quorum requirements. 
the bylaws should state the quorum needed to vote on action items. Selection, succession, and duties of chairpersons and officers. Size and duties of board membership. Specify minimum and maximum number of members, including selection, term limits of members, and removal of members. Fiduciary oversight. Appointing a chief executive, including notification to PCCD of change in temporary or permanent executive leadership within 10 days. Conducting an annual performance evaluation of the chief executive. Regular review of bylaws that is clearly stated with a time frame when review will take place. Board members shall be representative of the community, its strengths, diversities, challenges, and opportunities. Be representative of victims and survivors of crime. The board members shall be responsible for adhering to the agency's mission and maintaining the fiscal and programmatic vitality of the program. In cases in which the Victims Services Program resides within a larger organization, the VSP shall have an advisory board. The advisory board shall adhere to the board member standards, be a functioning committee of the board of directors, and have at least one voting member from the board of directors. If a program cannot be sustained, and it is determined that it should dissolve, the Board of Directors must notify PCCD within 48 hours of the decision to close. Please email or call the program staff contact assigned to your grant with any questions. Thank you.